Good evening viewers welcome to my channel HS Clue today we will learn about understanding number format What are number formats? Whenever you are working with a spreadsheet, it's a good idea to use appropriate number formats for your data. Number formats tell your spreadsheet exactly what type of data you are using, like percentage, currency, times, dates, and so on. Why use number format? Number formats not only make your spreadsheet easier to read, but they also make it easier to use. When you apply a number format, you are telling your spreadsheet exactly what types of values are stored in a cell. For example, the date format tells a spreadsheet that you are entering specific calendar dates. This allows a spreadsheet to better understand your data, which can help ensure that your data remains consistent and that your formulas are calculated correctly. If you don't need to use a specific number format, the spreadsheet will usually apply the general number format by default. However, the general format may apply some small formatting changes to your data. Applying number formats. Just like other types of formatting like changing the font color, you will apply number formats by selecting cells and choosing the desired formatting option. There are two main ways to choose a number format. Go to home tab, click the number format drop down menu in the number group and select the desired format. Click one of the quick number formatting commands below the drop down menu. You can also select the desired cells and press ctrl plus one on your keyboard to access additional number formatting options. In this example, we have applied the currency number format which adds currency symbols and displays two decimal places for any numerical values. If you select any cells with number formatting, you can see the actual value of the cell in the form formula bar, the spreadsheet will use this value for formulas and other calculations using number formats correctly. There's more to number formatting than selecting cells and applying a format. Spreadsheets can actually apply number formatting automatically based on the way you enter data. This means you will need to enter data in a way the program can understand, then ensure that cells are using the proper number format. For example, the image shows how to use number formats correctly for dates, percentage and time. Now that you know more about how number formats works, we will look at a few number formats in action. Percentage formats. One of the most helpful number format is the percentage format. It displays values as percentage like 20% or 55%. This is especially helpful when calculating things like the cost of sales, tax or a tip. When you type a percent sign after a number, the percent number format will be applied to that cell automatically. As you may remember from math class, a percentage can also be written as a decimal. So 15% is the same thing as 0.15, 7.5% is 0.075, 20% is 0.20, 55% is 0.55 and so on. There are many times when percentage formatting will be useful. For example, in the images, notice how the sales tax rate is formatted differently for each spreadsheet 5, 5% and 0.05. As you can see, the calculation in the spreadsheet on the left didn't work correctly. Without the percentage number format, our spreadsheet thinks we want to multiply 22.50 by 5, not 5%. And while the spreadsheet on the right still works without percentage formatting, the spreadsheet in the middle is easier to read. Date formats. Whenever you are working with dates, you will want to use a date format to tell the spreadsheet that you are referring to specific calendar dates. Like July 15, 2014, date formats also allow you to work with a powerful set of date functions that use time and date information to calculate an answer. Spreadsheets don't understand information the same way a person would. For instance, if you type October into a cell, the spreadsheet won't know you are entering a date, so it will treat it like any other text. Instead, when you enter a date, you'll need to use a specific format your spreadsheet understands, like month, day, year, or day, month, year, depending on which country you are in. In the example, we'll type 10, 12, 2014 for October 12, 2014, our spreadsheet will then automatically apply the date number format for the cell. Now that we have our date correctly formatted, we can do different things with this date. For example, we could use the fill handle to continue the dates through the column. So a different day appears in each cell. If the date formatting isn't applied automatically, it means the spreadsheet did not understand the data you entered. In the example, we have typed March 15th. The spreadsheet did not understand that we were 
referring to a date so this cell is still using the general number format on the other hand if we type march 15 without the th the spreadsheet will recognize it as a date because it doesn't include a year the spreadsheet will automatically add the current year so the date will have all of the necessary information we could also type the date several other ways like 3 15 3 15 2014 or march 15 2014 and the spreadsheet would still recognize it as a date other date formatting options to access other date formatting options select the number format drop down menu and choose more number formats these are options to display the date differently such as including the day of the week or omitting the year the format cells dialog box will appear from here you can choose the desired date formatting option as you can see in the formula bar a custom date format not only changes the actual date in our cell but also the way it is displayed number formatting tips here are a few tips for getting the best results with number formatting apply number formatting to an entire column if you are planning to use one column for a certain type of data like dates or percentage you may find it easiest to select the entire column by clicking the column letter and applying the desired number formatting this way any data you add to this column in the future will already have the correct number format note that the header row usually won't be affected by number formatting double check your values after applying number formatting if you apply number formatting to existing data you may have unexpected results for example applying percentage formatting to a cell with a value of 5 will give you 500% not 5% in this case you will need to retype the values correctly in each cell if you reference a cell with number formatting in a formula the spreadsheet may automatically apply the same number formatting to the new cell for example if you use a value with currency formatting in a formula the calculated value will also use the currency number format if you want your data to appear exactly as entered you will need to use a text number format this format is especially good for numbers you don't want to perform calculations with like phone numbers zip codes or numbers that begins with zero like 02415 for best results you may want to apply the text number format before entering data into these cells increase decimal and decrease decimal the increase decimal and decrease decimal commands allow you to control how many decimal places are displayed in a cell these commands don't change the value of the cell instead they display the value to a set number of decimal places decreasing the decimal decimal will display the value rounded to that decimal place but the actual value in the cell will still be displayed in the formula bar the increase decimal and decrease decimal commands don't work with some number formats like date and fractions that's all for today i hope you understand all the topics